Greetings fellow traveler. Today I want to remind you to take some time, examine self. See, I, for a period of my life, I used to identify with the whole victim mentality, right? This happened to me, this person, this group, this job did this and that to me. For what? It's all rooted in shame, guilt didn't serve me but I had to check myself I had to fall back I had to examine myself I had to allow assistance into my life so I could look at my story and really assess it in an impersonal way in a way that allowed me to see the story that I was telling myself now for myself at different periods it was professional help other times it was spiritual help, but I wasn't going there for guidance and they were offering guidance. They were giving an opinion of the story that I told myself as I relayed my story to them. In doing so, I began to see parts of myself that some I was proud of that I had just put to the wayside. Other things I wasn't so proud of. That's okay, cool. Because when I was able to see strengths, weaknesses, however you want to put it, I realized that, man, there's something I could do about this. There are things that I can change. There are things that I can actually lean into more. And that's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful revelation to have. But it provided me with tools to be able to look at my story and consciously make accurate choices. By accurate, I mean the choices more so guide me in this in the direction that I want to go. So it's a course correction, right? I think it's healthy for any individual to do that. Any individual. Because when we don't do that, when we don't take accountability for certain aspects of, of ourselves and see how it played a role in our life up to where we are now, then we, we really buy into the whole notion that things are happening to us. It's not. It's happening for you. See, when I see more malicious people in the world, I didn't want to see the maliciousness in myself. Interesting. When I was uh, feeling like a victim or feeling that I was shamed or people were attacking me, I didn't want to see that I was attacking people. Interesting. Now, it's still something I work on. I'm not perfect by any means. and That's not the goal. The understanding is, okay, I see how operating like this has impacted me in my life and in my reality. So let me change that so I can have a different kind of output, a different harvest. And it helps. It truly does help. And slowly but surely, as you tend to that garden in your mind, you do reap different harvests. And it's a beautiful thing. Now, it doesn't matter how you go about doing the self-assessment. It's just about looking at self and seeing what actions and behaviors you do have and how you feel rewarded out of said actions and behaviors. I had a period, I ain't gonna say a period, for a lot of my life when I was younger especially, it was acceptable, I'll say, to just make jokes, make jokes, make jokes. And that's interesting because as I got older, I began to see that in those jokes was true. But I didn't want to say it directly because I didn't want to be accountable for my feelings. Being around other people as well, and I'm not blaming them, but I understand that being around a certain culture like that, it leads to uh, a certain kind of delusion where people would say harsh truths in a light manner. It's not healthy. It's not healthy because when the world gives you that tenfold, it's not only going to sting, but it's going to keep building momentum in a destructive, for destructive behavior. Sometimes we got to check ourselves, y'all. Not even sometimes, all the time. And I'm not saying we got to be hard on ourselves or things of that sort, but we have to be honest. We have to genuinely be honest. If we're rewarded by getting what we want by shaming people and shaming ourselves, we're going to see a lot of shame. And that was the life I was living. And then when I began to change that, 
then I realized, you know what? It's only about working on me. It's only about working on me. And that's cool. So even when I share these stories with y'all, it's an understanding of, okay, I'm working on myself. I'm assessing myself. But I'm also showing at least one person out there, it's okay to take a hard look at yourself and own it. That's all right. With that said, I'll leave it there for now. Be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.